This is geometry semester one. It's the second unit called angles and it's the third lesson called triangle 180 practice. It's on creatormath.com under the geometry tab. You might have to google creatormath.weebly.com. The instructions are copy the following problems into your composition book on the correct pages according to the table of contents with the notes for those pages from creatormath.com. And I do frequently try to model this. Let's see if I can pull it off today. So creatormath.weebly.com is the website. Here's what the home page looks like. That'll let you know you're on the right page. All the comp book stuff is on this home page, you guys. So anything to do with the composition book, find the words composition book and the picture and go find the instructions and videos below. Otherwise, we're going to go straight to geometry where we can find the lessons, the video solutions, the practice problems, and the notes. At first, there are vocabulary here. This is the vocabulary PDF. We're going to pass by that. You will need that for your vocabulary practices. We are going to, in this case, semester one. This table of contents should have been copied a while back uh, by you on your pages two through six of your composition book. If you haven't done it yet, do it now. We're going to scroll down to this unit number two on angles and if we look for the third lesson one two three here are the notes so it's triangle 180 the pages are here of where these notes go in your comp book don't look at this video please book, look at the table of contents on the website because by the time you see this video it'll be different so you'll be putting them in the wrong place and then we're going to click notes sometimes I have to click it twice And there you go, I saw it flicker. Now you can enlarge it and we can get some idea and put these notes in your comp book. First, we'll help you do the problems. Uh, the sum of the angles of a triangle are 180 degrees. That means if you take angle A, angle B, and angle C, you add them up, you get 180. Given that A is 50, B is 70, what's C? So we put them into an equation, we solve for the missing uh, angle, and we get 60 degrees here for this given sample. Here's another sample. And with this copied into your comp book, it's going to make the practice problems a little bit easier. There's vocabulary. The square in the corner of a triangle means that the angle is 90 degrees. That's helpful. Triangle is shaped with three sides and three angles. That's a very simple definition. Sum means to add. Difference means to subtract. Product means to multiply. And quotient means to divide. The little circle in the superscript position means degrees. There are 360 degrees in a circle. The um, angle symbol looks a lot like a less than, but it should be drawn differently. It should be flat on the bottom. And so you can have angle B. Tick marks show us what's equal. We'll go over those to give us some tick marks here. These are tick marks that say all three sides are equal. These are tick marks here on the angles saying all three angles are equal. What's the measure of an angle if all three angles are equal? It's got to be 60 because 3 times 60 is 180. And the sum of the angles, sum of the measure of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, always, no matter what shape. Okay, with that said, let's look at some problems. So this says, given the following triangle, what can be said about the three angles of the triangle? The sum of the angles of the triangle is 180 degrees. Well, that can be said. <laughs> it doesn't matter, right? Here's an obtuse triangle. They're all going to add up to 180. Here's an acute triangle, right? They're all going to add up to 180. doesn't matter what shape. Here's a right triangle. They're all going to add up to 180. They have to. Um, so I always say it's kind of strange. I always grew up thinking we lived in a random universe. But the idea that the sum of the angles of triangle add to 180, no matter what the shape of the triangle, possibly suggests that there's something designed in this universe, right? And you can think of that whatever you decide. So given the following triangle, what can be said about the three angles of the triangle? Guess what? They're going to sum to 180 degrees. I see where we're going here. They gave us an acute triangle, acute because this is less than 90. An acute triangle has all angles less than 90 degrees, and I can see that clearly here. Less than 90 degrees. And if I'm just back on the topic, if I was drawing less than right, I would make it like this. And then if I was saying angle A, 
This would have a flat bottom if I was drawing it correctly. You'll see me draw them incorrectly and my less than and my angle symbols start to look a lot alike. But technically speaking, the angle has a flat bottom to it and the less than is at an angle in both directions. Given the following triangle, what can be said about the three angles of the triangle? Guess what? They sum or add to 180 degrees. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C C is 180 degrees, and that's a degree symbol right there. All right, so far, so easy. Let's see if, how much harder it gets. Given the following triangle, if A is 20, so this is 20 degrees, B is 40 degrees here, What's C? Let's call that X, all right? Well, we know what we have. We have angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180, all right? We fill in for A, 20. We fill in for B, 40. We fill in for C, X, and we put them all equal to 180 degrees. 20 and 40 is 60 plus X equals 180. We subtract 60 from both sides. X equals 180 minus 60 is 120 degrees. 120. Yay. Okay. And I imagine we have several of these. All right. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. They're telling us A is 50, B is 30, and C, let's call X equals 180. 50 and 30 is 80 plus X equals 180. Subtract 80 from both sides. X equals 100 degrees. Check. All right, now we're going to give them the following triangle. Uh, angle A equals 60, same thing. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. So A is 60, B is 10, C is X. This is 70 degrees, and you can get some idea. If you don't know how to solve an equation, you can watch this process over and over and practice it yourself. Draw it out on paper and duplicate what I'm doing. Subtract 70 from both sides. This is exactly how you solve equations. The x drops down, the equals is the line. 180 minus 70 becomes 110 degrees. There we go. So this is interesting. Notice what kind of triangle. This tells us what? A square in the corner means this is a 90 degree exactly angle. So this is a right triangle, right triangle or 90 degree triangle. And now all they have to do is tell us one angle. If the following triangle, all we need to know is this is 10 right here and they want to know C. So same thing, angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. We know that A is 90. We know that B is given at 10, and they're saying plus X again. So this is 100 plus X equals 180, minus 100, minus 100, X equals 80. There we go. So this one's got to be 80, C. All right, given the following triangle, if B is 80, so this is 80 degrees right here. Well, the interesting thing about this triangle is they're giving us tick marks. They're telling us that this side with this tick mark is equal in length to this side with one tick mark. They're also telling us that this base angle here with one tick mark is equal to this base angle with one tick mark. So if this is 80, these two are left unknown. Well, there's going to be two different angles and they're going to be the same thing here. Right, so we get to kind of, let's see if we can sort of just wing this. If the sum of the angles of triangle are 180, 180 minus 80 equals 100 degrees. 100 degrees has to be divided between these two. How do we divide them? Well, they're both told, we are told that both are equal. So we can just divide this straight by 2, and we get that each of them is 50 degrees. So what is C? C is 50 degrees. And this is called an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Why? Because it's got two equal link sides and two equal link sides. The base angles attached to those equal link sides are always equal. All right. So that's one of the characteristics of an isosceles triangle. All right. Um, given the following, what's angle C? Well, look, 
This angle is equal to this angle is equal to this one. I know that because they told us with tick marks. This side is equal length with this. All three are equal length. They have to be. This is called an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle has to have equilateral triangle. Ha I can't spell while I'm talking. Has to have equal um, angles. So you have the same uh, measure. You have 3x equals 180. Right? And just, by the way, the other way to do this one up here, before I get too, head, too far ahead of myself, if I know this is 80, I have 80 plus 2x, because let's say these are the same, right? So you have x and x, just to do the more rigorous solving method, minus, oh, I'm sorry, you guys, equals 180, there we go, minus 80 from both sides, subtract 80 from both sides, and 2x equals 100, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 50, all right? So this would be probably the more rigorous method of solving. This one here, they're all x. This is x, 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 because we know they're all equal. 1, 2, 3x has got to be equal to 180. Divide both sides by 3, x equals 60 degrees. And you might be able to just think through that. If they're all equal, and this is 60 degrees, and this is 60 degrees, and this is 60 degrees, it's 60, 120, 180 check 180 degrees the sum of the angles of a triangle are 180 degrees memorize it eat it sleep it breathe it think it it's one of the most magnificent aspects of geometry given the following if a equals x ooh, look at this b equals 3x huh c equals x woo okay well guess what this is an isosceles triangle because it's got equal base angles. But anyway, besides that, what you've got is the same old thing. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. Uh, a is X. B is 3X. C is X equals 180. How many X's you got? 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 1 is 5. 5X five equals 180. All right? Divided by 5. Divided by 5. X equals 36, right? And just to model once again, make sure you're ready to go with this. Just your regular calculator I can use, and I've got 180 divided by 5, 36. Um, for me, I divide 5 into 18, and it goes in three times, and I'm left with 3 because I get 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 zero is 30, and 5 goes into 36 times. For me, that's how I do it in my mind is 36. Up to you to do how you decide. All right, given angle A is 2x, what's the measure of x? Oh, well, look, this angle is equal to this angle. This is an equilateral. So if this is 2x, guess what this has to be? 2x and 2x. These all have to be 2x. Well, 2, 4, 6. 6x has to equal 180. Divided by 6, divided by 6. x equals goes into this 3 plus a 0, 30 degrees. Or no, it's not 30 degrees. x equals 30. All right, so the actual measure of this is 2 times x, it's 60 degrees. x is 30. All right, make sure you are matching up the assignment name. This is geometry semester 1. It's the second unit called Angles and the third lesson called Triangle 180 Practice on creatormath.com under the Geometry tab. Hope this helps.